I was asked to come out and talk to you guys, I, my first thought was, why are they asking me? Like, I, for me to come out to talk to educators, I was like the worst student ever. <laughs> um, but I guess, you know, thinking about it, I was like, you know what, maybe it's my chance to tell you guys that even your worst students are going to be okay. They, they might make it. Um, and, and I mean that seriously, because, like, I was seriously the worst student, and I, I, I didn't learn the way uh, traditionally. You know, the, the traditional system did not work for me. Uh, and so what works for me is by doing, and that's kind of why I think Mythbusters, my tool now is using Mythbusters as a way to teach people, you know, to educate. Um, the show was not set, we didn't set out to make an educational television show. I mean, we set out to make an entertaining show because if you set out with the thought of let's educate, it's going to be boring and you're going to, it's not going to be a success. <laughs> so, the idea came up from a, a producer, Peter Reese, he's Australian. He found Jamie and Adam and they came up with this concept of not just telling or retelling urban legends, but testing them, you know, using the scientific method to figure out whether these uh, stories were true or false. Um, and it just turned out that the show did educate. Um, I mean, you guys know better than anybody, like, how do you, how do you educate kids? It's like, you got to grab them. you got to get excited. I mean, you have to get their attention. If you're not excited about the subject that you're teaching, they are not going to be excited. I mean, kids, you know, they're... Who, who wants to listen to somebody talk about something they're disinterested in? It's never going to work. And I think that's why on Mythbusters it works, because the audience sees us not just talking about this information, but actually doing it. And in doing it, they see how excited we are about it, and they get excited as well. I'm so excited right now. I can't, Normally I don't have notes when I do these talks, but it's like there's so, much, there's so many things I want to talk about, I just don't want to forget any of it. All right. Uh, so your role, which is a huge role as teachers, I mean, you guys have the power to shape and mold the minds and attitudes about learning, their lives, who they are. I mean, that's a huge undertaking. That's a huge responsibility. And I admire you, and I admire your, your courage to do that, um, especially when the kids don't want to learn. I mean, that has got to be so difficult. I hated school. Um, I was, I'm dyslexic, so learning, uh, reading, comprehension didn't work for me. Uh, listening, lectures didn't work for me. So the worst place to be as a student, and this is kind of what I, I want you guys to take away from all this, is kind of figuring out ways to reach those kids who would normally get left behind, because I was one of those kids. It's the worst, and I'm sure some of you guys have felt this, where you're sitting in a classroom, and you're looking around, and everybody else seems to be getting it, except you, and you just get further and further behind, and it's the most terrifying feeling, and you just kind of start faking it, because you're like, you know what, I don't want to look stupid, I'm just going to kind of, you know, just keep pretending like I'm getting it, just to, you know, fit in, or, you know, because it's so terrifying, that is what I... My challenge to you is to kind of come up with creative ways to get the kids involved in learning. Um, now, it's easy for us because, I mean, let's face it, we blow stuff up to get the kids' attentions. I mean, it, it, you know, it's like, but for you guys as teachers, it's difficult because you're in a lecture, I mean, you're in a classroom, it's, it's hard to get the kids involved. And I think some of the best teachers I ever had growing up were the teachers who, I remember I had a, a teacher who, the first day of our science program, I think I was in third or fourth grade, um, we, we all came in, he handed out our science books, and he said, all right, grab your science books, and throw them on the floor. And we all threw them on the ground. And we're like, what? He's like, we're not gonna learn, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna teach you from this. What I wanna teach you is through Experiments. We're going to do a series of experiments in the classroom where we're actually physically doing these things. And those lessons stayed with me where when I would have to try to read to, to 
get information, it, it, it didn't work for me. It was a tool that didn't work.